You guys are already rolling? How do you start without me? I'm the freaking host of the show! Well, I guess now that I'm late to the party, I'll uh, drink some coffee and get ready. How y'all doing today? I'm in a pretty good mood, if you can't tell. And it's a nice sunny day so far. It always starts a little gloomy. You're always like, hmm, is today going to be some crazy rain today or what? It's Oklahoma. It's kind of like North Texas. If you don't like the weather, wait five minutes. All right, so I do have a lot of uh, building to do. And I'm going to get on that in just a second. But, need my coffee. I can't lie either. Instant coffee. You guys know I try to bounce from one type of coffee to the next so I don't get stuck on one. And then if I don't get it, I don't like it. And so, uh, kind of like the projects I work on around here to where, you know, it's... I start one and I don't finish, unfortunately. I'm changing that, though. It's a good thing. There's nothing wrong with change. Nothing wrong with change at all. Sometimes it's for the best. And uh, you guys know I've been through a lot of stuff lately. But if it wasn't for all those things, all those things that have happened to me, even all the worst things you can think about that ever happened to me, I wouldn't be right here or right now without every little thing, every little detail in my life happening exactly like it did. So I'm very thankful for everything I've been through, good or bad, crummy or awesome, instant coffee or death wish coffee, doesn't matter. I need a shave, get these grays out of here, what's going on? What's going on with all these grays? Alright, so. This little dating thing that I, uh. Video that I did about going on a date. And I thought it'd be funny if. One of you guys went on a date with me and filmed it. I'm actually getting emails. Didn't expect that at all. So it's pretty funny. I'm, actually, I'm getting way more emails than I thought. Some of them have been. I think the youngest was 20. And the oldest so far is 70. No joke. It was funny. She was grandma. And uh, she wouldn't send me a photo. I said, you gotta send me a photo. I gotta know who this is. Of course, she was She was just joking about the whole thing. She thought it'd be funny. And uh, that's what I like. I like funny people. People that have humor. People that look for the good in the day. And want to put a smile on someone else's face. That is awesome to me. So awesome. So, I'm not gonna mention any names because... I promised I would keep it very confidential, but you know if you you know you wrote that, and I thought that was great and funny and entertaining, and it really put a smile on my face. And you know she was very humorous about it, and I don't know it was it was awesome to know that someone else watches me every day, gets my humor, and then wanted to make me smile and laugh. So I thought that was awesome. So guys, don't. Don't worry too much about the little things in life and the things that have gone wrong or anything of that nature. Try to make something go right. Try to make someone smile today. Try to better someone else's life. You know, maybe, you know, in the process, you need to better your life to better their life. I don't know. I don't have a clue. Maybe I'm just spitballing here off the top of my head, but... Maybe you want to make your kids' life better so you want to get a little healthier so you can be in their life longer because that's the biggest scare with all this stuff going on right now in the world is your chance of survival is a lot better the healthier you are. So maybe if, you know, you worked out once a week, put down the chocolate cake and worked out, you could better someone else's life and yours. You know, and so I'm not saying everybody's going to die or anything like that. I'm clearly not on a diet myself, and I am not judging anyone about anything when it comes to that. I'm just saying maybe there's something. I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, maybe just, you know, in the craziness that's going on, if you have to go to Walmart or somewhere out, 
I'd say smile at them, but you have a mask on. Maybe risk your life and pull the mask down for, for 2.5 seconds. And put the mask back. I don't know. Maybe risking your life could change someone's someone else's life. And you could be super nice to somebody in a chaotic time. That what if it changes their mood and then they do it to the next person, the next person. It can happen. Coffee time. How many of you are uh, how many of you are annoyed with me being back and crazy and energetic and happy and all that stuff, you know? I like it. I like I like me being back to who I am and I hit a rough part, you know, in my life, like I said, but getting through all that and being where I'm at now, I'm happy. I really am, and it's crazy. You know, I'm not going to say I wasn't ever happy before because I was, but, you know, just everything that goes on and then, you know, this is 100% my fault. I put my life on the internet and to have people bash me and stuff, you know, every day, I've gotten over that real quick. I don't really care what people think. I don't care what their opinions are, you know, whatever. It's like, I'm going to keep living the life I want to live. I appreciate y'all's opinions that are nice and positive and, you know, constructive criticism. And so, um, you know, that's always great. But people that just bash other people, like, eh, whatever. And uh, I've learned to appreciate little things in life and all that. And, you know, being out here, it's kind of funny. Uh, I talk about it often now. I used to not ever mention the name. But his channel, or his username is smile money and um i don't know if he really liked me at the beginning i don't think he did i thought he was i think he thought i was just some lazy young punk that did nothing and now he thinks i'm a lazy young punk that does some stuff sometimes i don't know no i think we have a good community or a good uh relationship him and i we uh we bounce back and forth trash talk each other and that's kind of our relationship and that's cool i like that i really do but um, I don't remember where I was going with that story. My mind started going off. ADD. I don't know. Welcome to my life. But, um, I don't know where the story is going, but he basically would kind of, you know, talk trash to me and stuff. And, ah, uh, I know where I was going. So, he commented the other day, I think on Coffee Drockers, whenever I said, you know, getting a hotel room. It was a live chat, I think, maybe. Getting a hotel room, you know, was something I really needed because I, like, I missed bed and hot shower and all that stuff. And he, he popped off a comment something like, yeah, I want to go off grid so I can miss those things. You know, ha ha, like, not everyone goes off grid and wants, you know, they don't go off grid to miss those things. They go off grid to get away from those things. And I popped off a comment back, being funny, we, we both joke, um, and said, you go live in a tent for three months. It's hard. You know, it's really hard. It's harder than you think. You know, now, um, when I get the tiny house finished, yeah, I'll be a lot more comfortable. But not having a hot shower every day is pretty difficult. That's my, a hot, sh hot shower is my thing. That's how I like to decompress and relax is I can have the worst day ever. I can go stand in a shower for 10 minutes, not doing anything, just standing under the hot water, letting it soak on me, closing my eyes, leaning against the wall, just stand there for 10 minutes, and I can get out, and my day is brand new. Totally right. Some people need to take a nap. Some people need to go on a run or whatever. Mine is standing in the shower in hot water, or if I had a hot tub, sit in the hot tub for 10 minutes and just zone out. I guess that's where I meditate, if you want to call it that. But... It was kind of funny because he's like, you know, most people go off career to get away from that, not to miss it. And you would think, right, most people that have never done off grid think, OK, well, I just want to go off grid, get away from all my problems, live simple life in the woods, and it's going to be amazing. For the most part, it is. But you still miss certain things of your day and you still crave the things that you had for so long and I think the thing, too, is 
yes, I live off grid. I have no power, no water. I'm building a tiny house. I live in a tent. Like I'm, I'm rough and I'm, I'm glorified camping for the last three months in the winter. So it was rough. It was really rough, but I enjoy it. I appreciate it. And it made me learn the things that I really, really like in life and don't like in life and learn to appreciate the little things and all that. But it's still difficult. It's still really difficult. And, you know, being on YouTube and having to post videos every day and film, like the house build, this tiny house build, I could already have it dried in if I wasn't doing videos. It takes twice as long to do any project, and I've been doing this for multiple years now, for any project because you're filming and moving the camera and having to explain what's going on and all that stuff. Even the channels, you know, like, um, I think it's my self-reliance. He like never talks, right? But it still takes time. Like you see these shots where he's far away from the camera and it's showing the scenery and him and his dog sitting there. You know how long it takes for him to go put the camera, do all the settings, walk back, sit down, let his dog relax to get the shot he wants. And then he has to go back and get it. Then when he edits, he has to go through set 10 minutes of footage to get the 10 second clip and then you know upload the 10 minute footage just to get that 10 second clip and it's a lot it's a whole lot and I don't think a lot of people realize that that anyone on YouTube could do what they're doing in a fraction of the time if they weren't on YouTube but if we weren't on YouTube you wouldn't have the videos to watch and what would you be doing you'd be watching Tiger King or whatever the show's called I haven't seen yet and I need to see it because everybody's talking about it but it's a process, so don't really get upset with people that are on YouTube because they're not working fast enough or hard enough, in your opinion. We're doing two jobs. We're being construction workers on the house, if you're doing what I'm doing, or starting a fire or whatever the case may be to eat and to take a shower, a hot shower, you got to boil your water, all that. Plus, at the end of the day, well, during all that, then you're moving the camera around, then you're trying to be a host of a TV show, if you want to call it that, um, most people think I'm just a reality show. You gotta be a host of that. Then you gotta think in your head how you're gonna edit it the entire time. So you're like, all right, if I get a shot here, but then I'm gonna move the ladder over here, but I'm gonna get the camera over here. Well, I gotta go do that. So you gotta move the ladder halfway, stop, grab the camera, move the camera over here, get the angle you want, then go grab the ladder, walk like you're still going. So it's one continuous shot to the next shot of different things. So it looks like a TV show. It's a lot going on. Then you gotta upload all your footage. Then you gotta edit your footage. Then you got to upload it on YouTube. YouTube. And if you are like me and you live in the woods, you have to drive into town to upload it because it takes hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and sometimes messes up when you try to upload it out here in the woods. So I literally wake up at seven o'clock most days. Some Latest I wake up at 730 in the morning, but normally as soon as the sun's coming up, I'm getting up. And then I don't lay down in my tent until at least, at least 9.30 or 10 at night, and from the time I wake up to the time I go to sleep, I am doing something as far as building, um, editing, checking comments, checking messages, trying to check emails, um, trying to get some sponsorship stuff, looking up ways to build. I mean, from at least minimum, minimum every day, 12 hours a day, 365 days a year, and that's what YouTube is. So, guys... I don't know why I went on this rant, but I did. And I'm going to do a video coming up on the Crockers. I'm going to do a day in the life. And I'm going to timestamp everything I do from the time I wake up to the time I go to sleep. And most people will think, yeah, right, you just did that for the one video, so we think you're busy. I'm going to be completely honest with it when I do it. And I'm going to show you, you know, just cooking breakfast, that's an hour-long thing. You got to get a fire started, and then I don't have a sink, so then I got to, you know, do all stuff and then wash dishes, like in a little freaking thing of water and like all oh, it's a lot so i may not be a survival expert i may not be you know over the top at construction or whatever but i do work hard and i could say i work hard because i have this dream of well, living this lifestyle i have being on youtube so i can stay connected to you guys and being the best that i possibly can so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up on that. This is 15 minutes. This is the longest video I've done in a long time. Whew, I could talk. Yes, Mom, I know. You've been sitting here the whole time thinking, dang, Jason, boy, you sure can talk. 
I know, you tell me all the time. So, guys, I appreciate you. Wait, let me look over here. I always look over here because the screen on my phone. I do this on my phone, not my real camera. So, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And I hope you have an awesome day. Look me, right here. You're going to have an awesome day. I know you will. So, see you guys later.